For nearly a century, the mystery of our crazy dark universe has puzzled both theorists and astronomers alike. Let's face it, even with the best telescopes, what is visible on any given clear night represents only a small fraction of the universe as we understand it. Dark matter, which makes up some 20% of the cosmos, neither emits or absorbs light, but gravitationally attracts normal matter. Dark energy is responsible for the inexplicable acceleration of our expanding universe, which makes up a whopping 76% of our cosmos. Normal matter, the stuff of flesh and bone and stars and planets, represents less than 4% of the known cosmos. The hope has always been that we will soon know much more about this dark realm, and that revelation might now be closer than ever to happening. In just a few days' time, a remarkable space probe will be blasted into space, one that will give scientists great insight into the universe's two most baffling components, dark energy and dark matter. The launch of the 1 billion euro Euclid Space Telescope mission will kick off one of its biggest hunts for evidence of dark matter. Orbit Beyond the Blue Both dark energy and dark matter are invisible, and astronomers have only been able to infer their existence by measuring their influence on the behavior of stars and galaxies. Euclid's inclusion into this mix of theories could offer scientists a whole new perspective on the elusive dark energy and dark matter. But what makes it so special? Euclid will map large-scale structure over cosmic time, covering the last 10 billion years, says ESA. In the process, it will image 1.5 billion galaxies with Hubble Space Telescope-like resolution while taking spectroscopic redshift data on some 50 million galaxies. The Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope, which can sort of be considered Euclid's predecessors, have been great observatories for looking at very small regions with very high sensitivity, extraordinary detail, but it's a bit like looking at the massive sky through a tiny straw. Euclid will be less interested in the properties of individual galaxies and objects. It will focus instead on the bigger picture, measuring a few properties of many, many galaxies. It has two science instruments, one that uses visible light and one that uses infrared light. Both instruments also contain cameras with a huge number of pixels, and both can observe the sky and gather data at the same time. Researchers will then use these properties to build two types of map of the universe. The first will use a phenomenon called gravitational lensing, in which relatively nearby matter warps and magnifies the light of objects behind it. The distortions are usually tiny, but the huge amount of data Euclid is expected to collect during its six-year mission should allow researchers to use gravitational lensing to map out the distribution of matter including dark matter, which we can't see any other way, in the universe. Knowing the distribution of dark matter more precisely will help us figure out how it behaves and may present clues as to what it is really made of. Assuming a normal launch in July, Euclid's nominal six-year science mission will begin this December from L2, a gravitationally stable Earth some position about a million miles from Earth. This is also the home of James Webb. Euclid will cover 15,000 square degrees of sky. It will produce a very large atlas with unprecedented resolution in both visible and near-infrared wavelengths. In a year since its launch, the James Webb Telescope has already been changing the way we see the universe. We hope the Euclid Space Telescope offers much-needed insight into the working of dark matter and dark energy and changes the way we view the dark realm forever. And researchers believe the biggest challenge for Euclid will be dark energy. In physical cosmology and astronomy, dark energy is an unknown form of energy that affects the universe on the largest scales. Emphasis on unknown. The proof of the existence of dark energy is supported by a number of observations. This includes the age of the universe compared to oldest stars, supernovae observations, 
and cosmic microwave background. There is so much we still don't know about space, but scientists looking at dark voids in the universe have revealed that it's these voids that could be causing dark energy. These voids are one of the largest features of the cosmos and can often measure in at hundreds of millions of light years wide. Some may even span several billions of light years in width, which is hard to get your head around. Many people often view these voids as holes in space, and claim they are an example of truly empty space without stars, galaxies, plasma, gas, dust or black holes. Scientists have instead highlighted that these cosmic voids are usually ginormous clouds of gas. However, according to a new paper these cosmic voids could be the source of dark energy. And it's this energy which scientists say could be flinging the universe apart by causing it to expand faster and faster. The mysterious force causing the universe to act in this way is something that has been puzzling astrophysicists for years. Paul Sutter, an astrophysicist at SUNY Stony Brook University and the Flatiron Institute in New York City, explained what this new research means to live science. What do the voids have to do with dark energy? For one thing, the effects of accelerated expansion aren't felt inside of star systems or galaxies. There, the gravitational attraction of matter is more than strong enough to completely overwhelm it. For example, neither our own solar system or the Milky Way is getting bigger because of dark energy. But because the voids are almost completely empty, they feel the effects of dark energy far more readily. But now, in this new paper, researchers claim that dark energy isn't just found in the voids, but it's caused by them. They say that the enormous structures have grown over time. While billions of years ago matter in space was spread out pretty evenly, places that had a little more started to attract more matter into it. This continued until the accumulated matter formed galaxies, groups and clusters. However, this meant that these voids were being left empty and in lodging. Sutter explains, as voids grow, the walls of galaxies between them steadily thin out and eventually dissolve, allowing voids to merge. In the next few billion years, the voids will end up dissolving the cosmic web forcing all matter into isolated clumps separated by hundreds of millions of light years of emptiness. As this happens, it leads to an accelerated expansion, which matches the estimates of dark energy. While more research needs to be carried out in this area to test this theory, it's certainly an interesting idea. And perhaps the Euclid telescope will shed more light on this, but what do I know? Beyond the Blue.